Tea Committee. Thank you for indulging us while we had to cast nine votes, Mr. Administrator. So thank you. Uh, it's good to see you on the floor, too. I hope that brought back good old memories. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to resume our five minutes of questioning by our members. And uh, let's see, Mr. Tonko, uh, from New gentleman from New York, you're first for five minutes of questioning. Well, thank you so much. Yes, sir. I thank the chair and the ranking member for this important hearing today, and thank you to Administrator Nelson for the work you do to ensure the success of the world's preeminent civil space agency and your awesome leadership that you provide. Uh, up in my district, New York's capital region, I'm deeply proud of the critical research and tech development being done at world-class academic institutions such as Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. I'm particularly thinking about the R&D there that relies on funding from the Biological and Physical Science Division within NASA's Science Mission Directorate. The BPS Division funding provides novel opportunities to better understand the impact of the space environment on both life and physical sciences. Discoveries made on the International Space Station with BPS funding have advanced our understanding of quantum mechanics and helped to uh, facilitate the advancement of semiconductor-based electronics. The BPS has also enabled advances in immunotherapy, regenerative uh, medicine, osteoporosis treatments, and neurodegenerative diseases. Despite how important this research is, the BPS budget within the Science Mission Directorate remains severely underfunded and was acknowledged as such in the recent decadal survey. In February, or excuse me, in fiscal year 23, and BPS budget was 84% less than it was in 2004. And as a result, the number of investigators in the state of New York has decreased by some 67%, causing significant reductions in education and training and negatively impacting the local economy. Specifically, at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, the BPS division currently funds approximately four PIs in over 25 graduate and undergraduate students. However, just a few years ago, that number was closer to seven PIs. Without significant reinvestment, labs funded by BPS will no longer be sustainable as the number of grants awarded is reduced and be, and be forced to change research directions, threatening the success of NASA's exploration goals. So, Administrator Nelson, how is NASA attempting to be responsive to the ambitions of reinvestment from the biological and physical sciences community to Cato survey in this constrained budget environment. Congressman, when uh, John Glenn first flew, we weren't sure what was going to happen to the physical body. There was even concern that would the eyeballs stay in the sockets. We had flown a chimpanzee uh, prior but you just think when you don't know what's going to be the physical, biological uh, reaction and how far we now have advanced where we are realistically getting ready uh, to go back to the moon in order to prepare to go to Mars. Uh, and so the function of the amount of grants that would go to a university such as the very eminent one that you just mentioned in your district is a function of the amount of the budget that you give us. Uh, just in sciences in this fiscal year 24, uh, because of the constraints that are upon you in 24 and 25 as a result of the compromise reach to be able to avoid the default of the full faith and credit of the United States government. Uh, for example, just in science, it's a billion dollar cut in 24, a similar cut in 25. Once you get to 26, and don't have the constriction that you have on the budget, I wish that you would because the area that you have specified are areas that we have to know what's going to happen in order to send humans all the way to Mars. The moon is four days away. Mars is seven to eight months away. 
unless we develop the new uh, technologies uh, such as propulsion of nuclear thermal, nuclear electric propulsion that could get us there faster. Uh, if we go conventionally six, seven, eight months, then we're going to have to stay on the surface a very long time until the planets realign to get back in seven or eight months. So these are all the part of the challenges, but they're also exciting problems to solve. And uh, we will keep those grants going to universities because that is a main source of the research that we do at NASA. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Chair, I have another question that I was going to ask about. I'm out of time, so I will forward that to the uh, committee. But it's my hope that <clears throat> through this budget process, Congress will recognize the uh, crucial importance of this research to help BPS and NASA fully realize its mission. And with that, I yield back. Thank you very much.